Our next presenter is Maj Alger, and she is an accounting and finance major who's graduating this December and starting the master's program in accounting here at BSU. And she was next semester. That's like a big deal. Uh, for her mentor is Dr. Mark Crowley in the Department of Accounting and Finance. And the title of Maj's presentation is Accounting Language and the Meaning of Comparative Numbers, Time, Transparency, and Context. Hello again, and thank you for being here. Um, so, uh, so the COVID pandemic has affected many businesses and is still uh, affecting many businesses and nonprofit organizations all this day. Um, but the effects may vary depending on the geographical location or the nature of the operation. The first quarter of 2020 was a challenging time. Um, and since a very long time, we haven't had um, that like that kind of a pan work pandemic. Um, although the knowledge about the pandemic has increased and the infection rate has decreased significantly, it is still a, it is still a major risk um, for the rest of the year and probably beyond. In my research, I studied the effects of COVID-19 pandemic on the S&P 500 financial statements. So throughout this research, I was able to understand accounting as the language of business. It is the language that managers use to communicate their financial and economic uh, information to external parties, um, such as shareholders and creditors. To be able to understand uh, financial statements, I have to learn how to read language, the language of accounting. That does not seem familiar to many. I've analyzed the financial statements and determined the effects of COVID-19 pandemic on some of the major companies like Amazon and Apple. So, to be able to understand financial statements, I've used the Wharton uh, Research Data Services. I've downloaded the uh, financial statements for 500 companies, and I've used Excel to organize and examine the data. For the topics that I needed more information on, I've used the business source complete through um, the uh, Macro Library uh, database online uh, to get uh, a trusted resource uh, and articles to expand my knowledge on the topic. So I've used the 2019 and 2020 financial statements to compare the uh, company's uh, financial performance. And that helped me better understand the effect of COVID-19 pandemic on them. Uh, so to focus my research, I have selected 50 companies among the 500, and I labeled them under 10 categories, which include entertainment, uh, fast food chains, and uh, airlines, banks, and so on. After examining the financial statements for each company and comparing the data for both periods, I came up with those conclusions. So um, that 20 out of them suffered a huge loss. You can see that certain industries like airline fast food chain were shut down as a direct result of the COVID-19 pandemic, and their numbers reflected that on the financial statements. Most of them were not able to uh, use the technology to overcome the physical distance guidelines, um, and they suffered major losses. One example would include Delta Airlines. As you can see right over here, that their sales has decreased by 29.9 billion dollars. And their market value has also decreased by $11.9 billion, which is a huge loss, huge loss for like a, a major airline company like Delta Airlines. The second part of it is uh, the, companies who, uh, the companies who had an excellent internet infrastructure and were able to uh, continue their operations online. Their sales were much higher in 2020 compared to 2019. Some of these companies include Netflix. You can see that Netflix sales in 2020 increased by $4.8 billion, and their market value increased by $97 billion, which is a huge thing for a company during COVID. Um, the third type of companies were the ones who maintained their uh, sales between both periods. Uh, you can see that the pandemic did not affect their financial performance. For example, and that would be uh, Johnson & Johnson. You can see that uh, their sales only increased by 25 billion, and then their market value increased by 30 billion, which is not like uh, not an increase or a decrease. So I would say they were able to maintain their financial performance. 
So, in conclusion, now that I've completed this research, I've realized how it is important to study accounting as a language of its own. Uh, because understanding financial statement is important as hell to analyze um, financial performance and determine future goals. Uh, my knowledge and financial statements enable me to study the effects of COVID-19 pandemic on major companies like Walmart, Apple, Amazon, and McDonald's as well. So this research will help these companies um, determine the key to success, which is uh, the importance of adapting to new trends and situation uh, where they would have to uh, come up with a new marketing strategies to uh, guarantee the need of their consumers. The major companies that benefited from this whole situation were the companies that offered online services and fast delivery. An example of that was like Amazon. You can see that Amazon had a huge uh, increase in sales during COVID because everybody was at home and they were just ordering on Amazon. For me, I would say I've ordered a lot of orders, like anything, <laughs> masks, like uh, anything you want. It's Amazon, and if you have Prime, you would get delivered in two days, which is great. So uh, lastly, I would like to thank my mentor, Professor Mark Pauli, for allowing me to have this amazing experience. And I would like to thank Dr. Shanahan for helping me out with the process. And everybody at the ATP Research, including uh, Dr. Angela and Casey. Um, and I really appreciate this opportunity as um, I know that accounting research is not common with the ATP uh, research. Um, and I was interested to pioneer in that field. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just to uh, introduce it to other students and uh, just to have an accounting student and other students from the business college uh, be participating in this uh, amazing research. And yeah, thank you so much. Do we have questions from the... Yes. Right over here. Um, because the 50 companies were so different, was, uh, when analyzing the information, was there a consideration for whether the company could possibly have the chance to identify like an airline and the meanwhile other store meanwhile one. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I uh, took into consideration that. So each category, for example airline, right? I compared the um, Delta Airline, American Airline, those in one category. And then I had for example um, fast food chain. I compared McDonald's uh, financial performance with, like, for example, KFC or Wendy's, right? I didn't compare airlines with fast food chains because it's like a different um, situation. Airlines did not have a chance to have someone there, right? Because we can't fly during the pandemic. But with fast food chains, if they had the option to do deliver it, they would be more successful. And that's their option. So I would say I use like different um, terms of like uh, comparison for different characters. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, with your research and analysis, do you think there's another shutdown? Do you think companies will suffer more losses than in the previous research of the financial statements? So I would say um, if I want to compare uh, the numbers for 2021, which hasn't come out yet. Uh, to 2020, uh, 2020, I would see a big difference because um, we saw that uh, Johnson & Johnson did not have any change in profit, but for now, since they had a vaccine, and I think their sales just went up, right? Um, and same thing for different companies. They could have an increase in sales during 2020, during the pandemic, but now that everything is starting to open up again, I think they would have um, a difference in sales. And I would say if I wanted to do research on that, I would have to compare both 2020 and 2021. And as for the uh, risk of having another shutdown, I would assume uh, there's not for now, because I think people are now getting vaccinated, um, just following the guidelines. So I would assume that uh, like we're far ahead from having to do another shutdown. Last question, did you have a question? Okay. Thank you.